My daughter was two and a half, went into a coma, and she was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. My life completely changed. I wanted to find a cure for my daughter. Sadly, that didn't happen. My daughter, Debbie, passed away at the age of 33 from complications of diabetes. I had a daughter that had type 1 diabetes, and unfortunately, she passed away at the age of 17 suddenly. People say that with tragedy, pain eases over time. Speaking after all these years, I could tell you that's not true, with, especially with a child. My daughter Allie, at the age of six, was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. And I remember driving from the hospital back home, and this little six-year-old said to me, you know, Daddy, I'm going to have my diabetes for the rest of my life. And the fact that I didn't hit a telephone pole is probably the most amazing thing. As a type 1 diabetic, and you can ask anyone else that's a type 1 diabetic, you think about it every two minutes, every 30 seconds. You're thinking about, is what I'm going to do next going to affect my blood sugar? Is what I eat going to affect my blood sugar? As a mom, you, like I couldn't imagine my kids be sick or something go terribly wrong. Calculating what you need to inject, you never get a vacation from this disease. It's hard for, for most patients, so we need to find a solution. The Diabetes Research Institute is one of the leaders in the world. We've done groundbreaking research. They believe that they could find a cure. The Diabetes Research Institute Foundation has been a formidable partner uh, to the Diabetes Research Institute at the University of Miami Middle School of Medicine for nearly 50 years. Their support has been phenomenal, approaching in excess of $270 million. We are absolutely grateful to them. It's the amount of money that's raised to support those scientists that will ultimately move that needle towards a cure of type 1 diabetes. This support gives our scientists the freedom and the financial flexibility to forge ahead and pursue various promising research avenues even before they become mainstream. The partnership with the foundation has allowed us to attract to the Middle School of Medicine, arguably the world's number one immunologist when it comes to type 1 diabetes research. That's Dr. Matthias von Herreth. He is the ideal leader for growing the Institute's comprehensive research towards finding a cure for type 1 diabetes. He believes this is a problem that we can tackle in our lifetime. It's humbling and it's a huge honor uh, to, to take on this position in the DRI for me. I feel I'm standing on the shoulders of giants who built really something super special. You have ever so often really a breakthrough, a major milestone of, of having things come a bit closer to being able to make a complete cure for a disease. And that's really driving me. I want to make a difference for patients. I really care about that. So many talented clinicians, scientists, researchers are pushing so hard for a cure. When will that day come? I'm not certain, but I will say this, we are getting closer. And the only way we're gonna get across the finish line is by working with scientists like the ones at the DRI and supporting organizations like the Diabetes Research Institute Foundation that gives them money to do the work that they do. I mean, it's inspiring for me to be around people who care so much about something and you know we won't stop until there's a cure for type 1 diabetes. You know our slogan is we're the best hope for a cure. I believe it. Never give up hope. <laughs>